Hey everyone, today I am making a recipe request from one of my viewers, Byron Chandler. Thank you, Byron, for requesting this. We're making gluten-free strawberry shortcake with strawberry whipping cream. Delicious, guys. You're not gonna even notice that it's gluten-free. It's delicious all the way around, and you're gonna love it. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. So let's go over our ingredients. First up is our strawberries. Now you wanna use organic strawberries because according to the Environmental Working Group, strawberries are number one on the Dirty Dozen list, which means that they have a lot of pesticides sprayed on them. We'll need some flour. I'm using Bob's Red Mill one-to-one gluten-free baking flour for that. We'll need some milk, regular sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and make sure you check the bottom of your, or the expiration date, I should say, on these two items to make sure that they haven't expired, because if they have, they aren't gonna do their job as well as you'd like them to and make our, our pastries rise up. All right, we'll need some coconut oil, salt, and for our uh, strawberry whipping cream, of course, we're gonna be using fresh strawberries in this to give it even a better flavor. And uh, we'll use some heavy whipping cream. I like to use organic. I got mine from Trader Joe's. We'll need some vanilla extract and a little bit of sugar. We're gonna start off by making our strawberries for our whipped cream. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take my strawberries, take the, um, the green stem off, of course, and then slice them up and measure up one cup and three quarters Once you get all of your strawberries cut up, measured out, we're just gonna place them into a blender. Now we're gonna go ahead and blend this until it's all liquefied. I have a very uh, fine sieve here that I'm going to pour the strawberry mixture into, and that's to catch the seeds that are in the, in the strawberries. We don't want those in our whipped cream. And we're gonna cook this on the stove, and it's gonna thicken up and reduce down so that when we add it to our whipped cream to flavor it, it's not going to water it down. So just stir this until all the strawberry mixture uh, works its way through the sieve. And you just wanna scrape the bottom so you get all the, all the good stuff, we don't waste anything. Okay, so now we're gonna place this on the stove and cook it down. We want our heat on the strawberries to be over medium high heat, and this is where we're gonna to have to watch it for about 15 to 18 minutes, and we're gonna stir it pretty regularly so it doesn't burn. So we want this to reduce down and thicken up, and it'll intensify the flavors, and like I said, it won't uh, water out, or water down, I should say, our whipping cream when we add it to it. And you can do this ahead of time, you can do this like the day before even, and then just mix it when you wanna you know, serve it up. All right, we've been boiling this thing now for about 15 minutes, and it definitely has reduced down, and there's probably somewhere between a quarter and a cup and a third of a cup. So turn off the heat, and we're gonna pour it into a dish, and we're gonna let it cool for a little bit, and then I'm gonna place it in the refrigerator, because this needs to be absolutely chilled completely before we add it to our whipped cream. So now we're ready to work on the shortcake part of our recipe. I, I do have my uh, oven preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, so do that. We're gonna combine in a smaller bowl all of our dry ingredients. So that includes the flour, the baking powder, the baking soda, and the salt. And you wanna stir that up so that it's all evenly combined. So in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna add our coconut oil to the dish and we're gonna add our sugar. And we're gonna blend this until it's nice and light and fluffy. All right, so I mixed that for about a minute or two. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm going to alternate between this flour mixture that I have here and the milk. So I'm gonna do it like in thirds, okay? So I'll go ahead and put like a third of this in. Just a few scoops. And you don't want to overmix. And I'll pour some milk in. And we're going to mix this up. Once it looks like it's just mixed, then we're going to add some more. Again, mix it until it's just mixed in. Okay. 
Okay, it's just mixed in. Let's do the last batch. And just give it a little stir, just to make sure all that flour is mixed in. And you can see it's, it's pretty thick, right? So now we're gonna take our dough and make it into just little balls like that. And we're gonna make about eight balls. I mean, you can make them smaller if you want, but I think eight is a nice size. Now I've got parchment paper on my baking pan here. You might wanna do that. We're gonna place these in the oven 425, uh, that's Fahrenheit. And we're gonna, you know, 14, 15 minutes. We want the bottom of these to be nice and brown. That's what we're looking for. Time to prep up our strawberries for the shortcake. So now there's different ways that you can do it and I've done it different ways. And I'd kind of like to know what you guys like to do. Now today I'm just gonna, my strawberries are fairly sweet. So I'm just gonna slice them up and place them into a bowl. Some people like to do that and then add sugar to it and even mash it up a little bit to make it a little bit saucy. So, you know, I'm kind of curious, what do you like to do? Let me know down in the comments. I'd like to hear about it. So slice up as many as you think you need that you want to serve and we'll go from there. All right, so these have been in here 15 minutes. Let's have a look. I'm gonna look at the bottoms now. You can use a, you know, a fork or something, but I can pick this up and look underneath and you can see the golden brown. I hope you can see that. Those are ready to come out. Once the shortcakes have cooled for just five minutes or so, you're gonna to wanna to place them on a wire rack like I have here and let them cool completely. They smell amazing. I can't wait, I can't wait to have one. All right, so we're ready to start our whipping cream, our strawberry whipping cream. I've got my heavy whipping cream in the bowl and I'm gonna add, uh, let's start off with our vanilla extract. Just a little bit of vanilla extract, just like a half a teaspoon or so. That helps to bring out some sweetness as well. I'm gonna add the sugar and our strawberry puree here. Now you can use a hand mixer if you want. I'm gonna use my, my hand to mix it. Okay, I'm ready to serve this up. I'll just pick one of these. We could cut these in half, but if they do tend to crumble, so I'm gonna leave it whole. Um, you can do it either way, and just, I'm gonna put some strawberries right on top, and hopefully they'll stay, <laughs> a few anyway. And then we've got our magnificent strawberry cream. And it has that nice pink color to it that's reminiscent, of course, of the strawberries. And there you have it. And this is, I'm telling you, it's delicious. I'm gonna give it a taste. I'm just sitting here eating my shortcake, I tell you. This is so delicious, please try it. It is really, really good. I'm gonna eat this whole thing and probably have to give it away because I'll just keep eating it because it's so wonderful. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this and we'd love to have you. So don't forget to uh, tell your friends about my recipes, share it with them. If you think somebody might love this, let them know about it. I'd really appreciate it. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.